fishing with my son, but I'm following my boat. So he asked me if I wanted to come to the beach, so he's in charge. <laughs> Anything that goes wrong, I'll yeah. stop. Okay. Um, so he's going to talk to us about... I'm Scott Pringle, and my background is... Um, I'm a uh, master's in mental health, bachelor's in mental health. I'm a registered nurse, and my father is a retired certified water regulator. Put that up there because it takes all kinds of beekeepers, and I want to point out, everybody look, take notes, nowhere master beekeeper. So anything, you guys can steer us in the right direction. We're doing this. We're feeling it out. It's our first year. Go ahead. This is the disclaimer in case anybody missed it. I am not an expert. All of these are my experiences that we've had out there. Anything we're doing probably isn't new or cutting edge or we're not on the brink of beekeeping science. It's just I read about top bars and, and it seemed like an easy way to get into it. So ipso facto me a couple of dominante blah, 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 all the Latin stuff. This is when we got started. Uh, our landowner gave us a spot that was kind of uh, not on the rocks, so we're out there floating in the mud. Uh, already have taken the legs off, that was a bad idea, bending over the hive uh, while we were out there. Uh, a lot of work stooping over that far. I would have a handout. Where is it? This is in Aroma Park. It's on the north side off a low road. Okay. Uh, Top bar beekeeping is also known as Kenyan top bar beekeeping, barefoot beekeeping, organic beekeeping, TBH beekeeping. Uh, basically, it's a frameless style of beekeeping that allows the bees to do more of their own stuff. And um, out of the three hives, only one of them is doing it the way we want it. The rest of them are just doing whatever they want, can't be wampus. It's an it's, it's a, a ongoing thing to correct them and try and keep them on, the, on track. Um, we want to encourage them to do what they're supposed to do without, uh, you know, taking over totally. These are the things we found out as we got started. Working with the bees, you want to get smoked up so they can't smell you. Smoke goes right through that veil. So cover your, your mouth and your face, your eyes. I got a big choking full. And uh, it keeps the bees off, but it surprises if you ain't ready. I, you, you think you're impenetrable, boom, right through there. Um, the bees are going to do what they want to. We had no idea how true that was until we got out there. Um, I had a package when I had my first beehive, uh, and with this spring, you know, they didn't survive. So I was uh, uh, galloping and hustling, trying to get a, 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 some bees for the season so I didn't have another season to no bees. He helped me out with a couple of nukes, and nukes really don't fit in the top bar. so. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what we ended up doing. Don't outsmart yourself because it is easy to overthink something. Um, a lot of times the easy answer is the best answer. Pete says, well, why don't you just put them in there sideways? And that's what we ended up doing. The last thing we learned is getting stung in the fingers sucks. <laughs> I don't like wearing gloves because I got big hands and they fit tight anyway. Uh, I don't know if any of you got stung through the gloves, but I get stung through them anyway. and. You, your feeling is not as good, so I end up better just going without it, but bam, it hurts. Our woodenware, when we got started, this isn't our starter hive, but this is a little um, like a nuke. nuke that we made in case we ever did catch a swarm, but it's a good demo that I used. My first hive cost me about 10 bucks from what I got out of my garage and the wood that I had to go to Menards for. Uh, this is the mosquito netting. I just threw over one of these Panama Jack hats. That was two bucks. I had a bread knife, a paring knife, and a scraper to work with the, uh, with the hive and the bars. And I bought the three uh, pounds of three pounds of bees. 